Good afternoon, this is a 2021 Mercedes Benz Sprinter 3500, uh, the extended 170 inch wheelbase, and it's the XD, so it has a towing capacity of 7,500 pounds, which is more than the standard Sprinter's have. We've upgraded the horn so you don't have the standard beep beep horn that the Mercedes usually comes with. Uh, we've got stainless steel wheel covers, man and running boards, and you'll see another one on the other side. The graphics, these are graphics, not paint, so they can be removed or changed. Um, but it's a nice look. We've got a ladder that goes up to the spot. On the roof, we have a TV antenna, three 100 watt solar panels, max fan air vent, and the theory on air conditioner. 15,500 BTU air conditioner. Short power, 30 amp circuit, and then cable, create a cap around, plug in the cable TV. The luggage rack is a luggage rack, but it is also the shower base for the outdoor shower, and we'll show you that when we go through the inside of the van. We've also added a 47 gallon fuel tank and replaced the 24 gallon fuel tank so you'll be able to get probably eight or 900 miles per tank of fuel. This is the electric sliding door. Underneath the passenger seat, is the Wabasco heater that runs off of diesel from the fuel tank. All the chairs are swivel and reclining. In this cabinet, we have the Levio toilet, which is a cartridge system, so you get 17 flushes out of a cartridge, and then that cartridge, when completed, can be put in any garbage receptacle. We have a little brown monster in our van today. Uh, we have storage above the cab. JBL component speakers. There's 13 component speakers in the van. The stereo in the front of the vehicle is wired to the house batteries. So you can use the, the DVD player that's in there while you're parked and it doesn't drain the starter battery. Each of the reading lights has a night light. And of course the reading light, and they also have a USB port. There's one on each side of the van. This is the heat thermostat, air conditioner, and this also has lights in it that have, I think, six different colors, which is kind of neat. This is the battery monitor. It's a color display. It also has Bluetooth, so you can look at this as well as the solar controller on your phone. This is the remote for the Max fan roof vent. We also have a lagoon table, the swivels, and of course this can be taken off when you're traveling so it's not um, pivoting around and hitting things. In all the walls and ceilings we use sound deadening material as well as 3M thin slate insulation and because we live in Minnesota I think we do a much better job than most of our competitors. The floor has two layers of sound deadening and two letters, two layers of foil-backed bubble insulation as well. Uh, they ride really quietly when it's done complete like that. This is a vented window, so you get a little bit of cross circulation in here when you're camping. Here's the switches for the lights and a couple other things. Each of the lighting switches are touch dimmable. Probably can't see that on the camera. Uh, we've added a, a amplifier for the stereo system and that is lit when it's on and this is a antenna booster for the TV again when it's on it's lit so that you know that it's on high point microwave storage throughout the upper cabinets in this cabinet behind this pullout there's an outlet so if you choose to put your 
if you, if you want to have a coffee maker in here on this shelf, you pull this out, and then it's got an outlet already in for the coffee maker location. Soap dispenser, faucet. These switches are, this is for the water heater, this is for the water pump, and this is for the bedroom lights. These also dim, all of the switches dim for the lighting. Mirror, stainless steel backsplash. Little brown monster. That's the magnetic thing on the back there is for the shower head. When that shower is open, you put the head up there, and then we have shower curtains that you'll see later. And this bed also folds, hinges, so that you can use this side as a desk. This is what it looks like with the bed tipped up. The bedding and the foam mattresses are behind me, and this is a really nice desk surface to be using if you have to be working remotely. We have two outlets, uh, one on each side of the van back here, and each of them has two USB ports. Refrigerator is 4.4 cubic feet, so you have a freezer that also has a curtain for the front in it. Um, so you have room to put ice cream and frozen foods. 32 inch TV. Um, smart TV so you can stream into it. Pullouts in the cabinets. Then in this cabinet we have the garbage pullout for garbage and recycling. In the back of the van uh, this is the fresh water intake. The tank is underneath here and you can see the level of the water through that notch in the wood. The water pump is underneath that. On the other side of the van we have the gray water tank. Again you can see the level of the water through the slot in the cabinet. It's a 270 amp battle born uh, lithium battery. Uh, some of the basics there we have the Victron smart shunt. Uh, the on and off switch for the 12 volt system. The solar controller is just behind the inverter. And that's the Victron 3000 watt inverter, which also has a trickle charger to the starter battery. And that's your distribution panel for all your fuses and breakers. And below that is a hardwired surge protector just to protect your electronics from electric current changes. And then here's your shower valve and shower head. Up above at the end of the cabinet we have a hanging pole and on this side we have another robe hook or towel hook for when you're showering. This gives you an idea of the roominess of the shower and it's pretty easy to use. Um, the shower curtains snap onto the doors so they're easy to come off and on. There can also be used as curtains for the back windows. And then the shower head detaches from here and goes on here and you close the curtains and take a shower. If you'd like any additional information or have any specific questions, my name is Chris Thompson. You can call me on my cell phone at 952-292-6631. Thanks.